sound dramatic. Um, sorry? Yeah, given what it is, you'd almost want it to glow or something, but... Yeah, DNA's DNA. <laughs> What's that? Is that the pizza? Oh, that's pretty old. Well, so am I. Oh. <laughs> oh, you look like a scientist. Tell me. What is this sample telling you? Um... Wolf bloods don't like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander Kincaid. This is my department. Shannon Kelly. Work experience. Oh, I know who you are. So, you've brought us a wild wolf blood DNA sample. Mm. Yeah. Wow. You really are good, aren't you? Kincaid. Sorry, we were just clearing away. Not a problem. Just wanted to meet our newest victims. Cara, Shannon, this is Alexander Kincaid. Right. Head of research and development at Segovia. And just as dull as that sounds. I'll give you girls a lift home. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Waitway, too. For everything. My pleasure. Mr. Kincaid. Thank you. Shannon. Um. I hope you know that what you've given us could change people's lives. Oh. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, I, I don't want you worrying about your current situation. And my parents had it rough too. I want to make it clear that, that if one day you decide to come and work for us, which you know, I think you should, then whatever overpriced university hellhole you decide to go to. It's on us. Just think about it. I will. Thank you. Shannon, great to have you back. Great to be here. Hi, Becca. Oh, this can be no, no, I'll show you around. Oh, we still can't get our heads around what you did during the dark moon, can we? Now, you'll have probably noticed I'm a bit of a peg leg. <laughs> it's all right, you're allowed to admit that you notice I've got a limp. OK, a bit. I was born with a degenerative disease for which, really, really annoyingly, there is no cure. Which brings me to that cheese and pepperoni number that you snaffled off your friend Yana. I could well end up becoming the most significant piece of pizza in history. It was the breakthrough we needed. We used her DNA to synthesize a serum. To repair and rebuild damaged cells. Well, either that or it'll bring on a slow and agonizing death. Wait. You're testing this on yourself? I can't risk it on anyone else. Not that I think there is much of a risk. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Might not be one bloke walking around in a room, but I haven't felt like this in ages. This is great. Oh, wait, it's worked already. Yeah, I thought there'd be a little improvement, but nothing like this. <laughs> this is just a start. Think what we might be able to do. Cure blindness, deafness, help paralyzed people walk again. Oh, all because of a cheese and pepperoni pizza. And you. Focus on him. He's doing what he can. They think Victoria Sweeney's involved. Sweeney? I don't get how even she could 
The missing badge, remember? Yeah, the stock count was wrong, but... Who looked into that? Who came down into the lab and said, leave it to her? The same person who monitors every transaction. Everyone and everything. Victoria Sweeney. Okay. What are you giving him? It's something I've been working on. Safe. What exactly is it? It's working. Alex, you're a genius. Oh! It must have reacted with the serum he took earlier. What about that antigen we were working on? Good idea. I'll go to the lab. We can't wait. You need to do something now. Wolfwood healing. He's got Wolfwood DNA in him. Maybe Wolfwood remedies will work. I'm taking him to Sigoli. Come on. No big questions, but... Oh. I'll take responsibility. No! We're running out of time! Carrie, please. Get my things. Now we wait. Awake. Do you really not know what's in it? No, I'll take it back. Get the residue analysed. We'll find out. Aren't you taking a big risk? Well, it's a bit late to worry now. Anyway, I'm not afraid of Victoria Sweeney. You leave it to me. Have you ever heard of Cerberus? I'll call Alex. We can trust him. Yeah, I thought I could trust Dacia. He already helped Tom. What did Dacia do? She did nothing. Go on, then. I'm gathering evidence that Sweeney's behind Cerberus and taking it to the board. There are files dating back years. Things Gerwin could help with. Is, uh, is Ridian there? Yeah. Your friends can't stay anywhere near Stony Bridge tonight. Oh, Sweeney's got humans on the team. Mark's going to tranquilize the guns. You won't stand a chance. What are we supposed to do? I have a place. It's way off Sweeney's radar. You can wolf out safely here. Where shall I pick you up? Sorry it took so long. Help yourselves. There you go. There's cooked meat in there oh, too for those who prefer it. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay, look, I'm absolutely in favour of us getting out of here as quickly as we can, and there's no point hanging around with Sweeney on the case. <laughs> yeah, well, no offence, Alex. I appreciate your help, but I'd really love to know what's going on. We all do. Sweeney's making a bit to take control over the company. She wants a city of wolfbloods to have Anciana and Iolos. Hence their interest in Yana. What if you got involved in Yana? I didn't know. Well, she's the one behind the serum that Tom took. She wants humans to have wolfblood abilities. I identified the applicator that Tom found as being from a batch that was stolen. That's what this is all about. And she's covering her tracks. She's passing on the blame to someone else. Like you? Yeah, exactly. Now, you discovered the discrepancy in the company accounts and she framed you as a whistleblower. But you are all in danger now. Anyone who knows anything, she will want to silence. Me very much included, so please, can we just go? It's <laughs> probably her, please get in. Where are we going? Somewhere safe. Look, 
put you in harm's way too long. Sorry. Go. So Sweeney must never know you are helping me. Go. Go on. Why did you do that? To protect us. And Kincaid. 